Strong winds and heavy rain caused some damage throughout parts of central Mississippi last night. Yeah, 12 News' is Tia McKenzie is live from Capaya County. And Tia, how is it there? Yeah, Byron and Melanie, Monday night storms ravaged parts of Capaya County. And here in Hazelhurst, cleanup efforts have already begun. Damaged homes, down power lines, and uprooted trees are scattered throughout the Capaya County community. We do like we normally do. We'll get in the hallway with a pillow to protect our heads or whatever, and we just waited until the storms passed. But uh, during the storm, it was it was very hectic. You know, a lot of uh, thundering and lightning, and we heard the wind blowing real bad, and, and all of the debris that, that was outside going on and everything. It was very scary. Electrical crews have been busy working to restore power to several homes and businesses following the storms. Well, it's a lot of elderly people that um, that might, eat, especially when the storms come through, the lights out, power's down, the trees being falling, and they can't help themselves. So, I mean, they need help. And that's where me and my wife came in at. And I couldn't help to, to stop and ask her if she would like some help. Entergy says the power should be restored by 10 p.m. As uh, we moving forward, I, I, I mean, I just want all the things to be to be cleared of, it. and I thank God that everybody is safe. The National Weather Service in Jackson issued a tornado warning Monday night for Capaya County and surrounding areas. Survey crews are assessing the damage to confirm if a tornado actually touched ground. Whenever we have storms going on. It's always good to pray because God will bring you out of any situation. I always pray and, and stay together with family, call and make sure everybody's okay. Residents say they're just thankful no one was harmed. Again, power should be restored to areas here in Capaya County by 10 o'clock tonight. Live in Hazelhurst, I'm Tia McKenzie, 12 News.